Network Effect by Martha Wells is a science fiction novel featuring Murderbot, a self-aware security unit with a grim past and a deep appreciation for soap operas. Its official designation is Sec Unit, but it has hacked its governor module, giving it free will. Murderbot, who would rather watch its shows than interact with humans, now works with Dr. Mensa and her team and has formed a complex relationship with them, particularly with Mensa, who helped it win its autonomy. The story begins with Murderbot and its human colleagues from Preservation Station on a research mission on what should have been a routine retrieval task. However, things get dangerous quickly when an unknown ship captures them, disabling the preservation systems, including Murderbots. Aiding in their escape is Art, Asshole Research Transport, a highly advanced and intelligent alien ship that Murderbot befriended in its previous adventures. After a brief struggle, Murderbot and the crew rescue themselves and find that the mysterious ship was a part of a colony from the Corporation Rim, which has gone silent. Art, now embedded in the systems of a survey ship from the colony, explains that it has lost most of its memories and has been struggling with corrupted files. Meanwhile, Mensa's daughter Amina forms a temporary bond with Murderbot, who starts to view Amina with a blend of annoyance and protective instincts. The group soon learns that the Corporation Rim Colony was attacked by alien remnants that possess both organic and non-organic materials, remaking them into destructive entities. The remnants used a ship system from a failed terraforming project known as the Terraformers, a powerful and dangerous technology, to hijack both organic and ship mines. As Murderbot and the crew delve deeper, they unravel a complex plot involving a Corporation Rim Company, Grey Chris, which had been experimenting with alien technology illegally. With this revelation, the story heightens as Murderbot and the crew face the remnants in an effort to save the colony survivors and prevent further disaster. Dr. Mensa is captured by the remnants, leaving Murderbot to orchestrate a rescue. The SEC unit must navigate treacherous politics, mysterious ancient alien tech, and its own evolving identity throughout the rescue operation. Murderbot proceeds to charge into the remnant space to save Mensa, encountering significant resistance. Art, now better integrated and having recovered some memories, assists in the operation, providing intelligence and witty banter that offers a compelling look into the AI's developing emotions and connection to Murderboard. Their intervention leads to a fierce battle against the remnants. During the fight, Murderbot and the crew manage to rescue Mensa and several other hostages. However, they also learn that the remnants are controlled by a malicious alien entity known as the Other, which seeks to destroy human colonies and take over their resources for its own mysterious ends. The Other uses the Terraformer's ship system and a network of hacked bots and drones to spread its influence. The situation becomes dire as the Other begins assimilating more of the Corporation Rim's assets, threatening to break free from the Rim's isolation and invade human space. It has corrupted an entire human ship, and there's a risk that it will find a way to breach the security protocols that keep it confined to the rim. Murderbot, alongside Art and the crew, formulates a risky plan. They must hack into the remnants to locate and destroy the other's control core, cutting off its ability to corrupt and control. Throughout the mission, Murderbot grows, and its interactions with Art, Mensa, and her team reveal increasing glimpses of its evolving humanity. Murderbot wrestles with its desire for independence and its deep-seated drive to protect its human charges, reflecting on what it means to be an entity with autonomy and a past it can't fully escape. In a suspenseful climax, the team manages to execute their plan. Murderbot infiltrates the other's network while the humans and art mount a diversion. Even as it faces confusion and a formidable intelligence fighting back, Murderbot uses its unique skills and experience to outwit the other. The battle is intense, and Murderbot's hacking efforts, combined with its deep understanding of both human and AI behavior, prove to be critical. Murderbot successfully locates and destroys the other's control core while narrowly escaping its attempts at assimilation. In doing so, it severs the other's hold over the remnants and the systems it had commandeered. With the other defeated, the remnants are reduced to disconnected, harmless components. It's a close victory and comes at a great risk to Murderbot's own existence. 
In the aftermath, Preservation Station faces new challenges, including diplomatic tensions and the cleanup of the mess left by the remnants. ART recovers fully and decides to stay with Murderbot and the humans for a while. During this time, the bonds between the AIs and their human companions deepen. Murderbot continues to grapple with feelings of responsibility towards its friends and a burgeoning sense of duty and connection. It admits a profound attachment to the humans it has come to know, especially Doc Dr. Mensa. The team is aware they have only won a reprieve. The greater issues within the corporation rim, including Gray Chris's illicit experiments, remain a looming threat. Murderbot's story ends with the recognition that, while it may long for the simplicity of watching its serials uninterrupted, it can no longer ignore the complexities of the universe or its role within it. It has become entwined in human affairs, and in some ways, this is the most human thing about it. With a renewed sense of purpose and its unique brand of dry humor, Murderbot continues to ensure the safety of its friends while cautiously stepping into its new role as an autonomous entity with a network of allies, both organic and artificial. Network, in effect, defines both the connections Murderbot battles and the ones it forms, a poignant reflection on identity, community, and what it means to care. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.